Hey, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I will be reviewing this car dash camera. The company that makes it is called Jado, J-A-D-O. The model number is D730. You can buy this off of Amazon.com, and it's from a seller called Auto-Vox. And this camera has a 2.4 inch LCD. It can record in full HD 1080p. It has a built-in G sensor to detect motion. The camera can be swivel 360 degrees. Now the camera also claimed to have a f2.0 aperture for nighttime recording and the ISO can go as high as 128,000 and it has a built-in 650 milliamp rechargeable battery. On the battery it can run for 30 minutes of uh, continuous recording. So let's open this up and I'll show you what's inside. So here's the camera and it comes with an 8 gig micro SD card and this device is the micro SD card reader. So here's the suction cup to mount this on your windshield. This is the cigarette lighter charger has a very long cable so you can run it along your A-pillar up to the windshield and this charger also comes with a USB plug while it's charging you can also use this to charge another device which is very nice here's the user guide first section is Chinese and the last section at the end is English And let's look at the camera itself. Here's a closer look at the camera. And if you look on the side, there is a micro SD card slot. And this comes with the 8 gig micro SD. Below that is a power button. On the other side, you have a USB connector. This is the HDMI video out. At the bottom, there's a tripod mount. At the back, this is the menu button, up down button, and the OK button. At the top, this is for mounting the suction cup. So it slides in. To install the dash cam is very easy. As you can see, there's a suction cup right here, and there's a latch here. When you push this latch up, it'll lock the suction cup in place. Now there's a collar here you can loosen and tighten. That will allow you to adjust this camera, and there's a ball joint right over here. So once this is loosened, you can adjust the tilt, the left and right adjustment, to whichever angle you like. To show you, I'm going to install this right in this area here on the windshield. So all you have to do is push the suction cup on and then push this latch up to lock it in place. And then now, all you have to do is run the power cable and plug into here. Adjust the angle that you want. And then all you have to do is lock this in place. Once you've installed the dash cam and connected the power to your cigarette lighter, now if your cigarette lighter is connected to ignition, whenever you turn on your car, the dash cam will turn on automatically and begin recording. So let me turn on my ignition and you'll see the camera come on. And then on the top left hand corner you'll see the red circle starts flashing. This tells you that it's recording right now and if you want to stop the recording all you have to do is press the OK and then the recording will stop. Now every time you start your car the recording will start automatically. Now if you want to start the recording again after stopping press the OK button again 
and then the recording starts. While it's in the video recording mode, if you press the up arrow key, you can actually zoom in on what's being recorded all the way to 4x and the down arrow key will allow you to zoom back out. So let me go through the different modes you can access and how to get into the setup menu using these four buttons at the bottom. And it's very easy to navigate through all the menus. I've used this for about a week now, um, having done a recent road trip. And I really like the layout of this. And let me show you what I mean. So if you are looking at this LCD screen, this main screen here, the top left hand corner you'll see a video camera. That tells you that it's in the mode to record video clips. If I was to hold this M button for a second and let go, it will toggle to the still picture mode. So in this mode, it will record uh, pictures, still pictures. If I press the M button again, it will go to the playback mode. So in this mode, you can actually watch the video clips that I recorded earlier. So let me hold it again and I'll go back to the video recording mode. Now on this LCD screen, there are a couple of things it tells you. Again, the top left hand corner is a video camera. It tells you it's recording video clips. And then on the right corner, top right corner, is the recording time. So if I press OK to start recording, you can see that this time will now increment. By default right now, the video clip will record a new clip every three minutes. You can change it to every five minutes or ten minutes. And I'll show you in a sec how to get to that menu. Uh, the text right here that says 1080F HD, that's for 1080 high definition video clips. Again, you can change it to a different resolution, to a lower resolution. Uh, keep in mind that the resolution will also increase or decrease the size of the video clips that it records. Now, the bottom right hand corner, this SD card icon tells you that there is a micro SD card that's inserted. Over here at the bottom, this flashing icon for the power that tells you that is connected to the car's uh, power source so that's charging the internal rechargeable battery one thing to note is that this icon what I found is that it always flashes as long as it's connected to the car's battery it does not stop flashing even when the battery is fully charged over here this is the current time of the unit that you set to the left of it is the current date over here, this microphone icon tells you that it's recording audio. And then this plus and minus zero is the exposure compensation. Right now it's set to zero. This icon above that with the number three and a circular arrow, that tells you that it'll record a new video clip every three minutes. So right now, as you can see, the red dot is flashing. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the OK to stop the recording. While I'm in the video recording mode, if I press the M, It'll go into the video recording setup, press M again. It'll go to this icon for the general setup. And the general setup will allow you to set date time, auto power off, beep sound language, TV mode, frequency, format, screen saver, delayed shutdown, default setting, and the version number. Press M again, it'll go back to the main screen. So let's go to the recording menu. Now in the recording menu, you use the up and down arrow key here to scroll to the different menu option so we have resolution as you can see right now it's set to 1080 HD 1920 by 1080 you can set to different resolution keep in mind that with the higher resolution the size of the video recording will be uh, bigger so be aware of that scroll down to the next one loop recording by default, the loop recording is three minutes. So what that means is that every time it starts recording, it will record a three minute clip. And then at the end of a three minute clip, then it'll start a new video clip recording and it'll continue on until the micro SD card is full. And then it'll begin overwriting with the first video clip that was recorded. And you can change it to five minutes or 10 minutes. And let's go to three minutes and select OK, uh, WDR, dynamic range, on or off, exposure, that's exposure compensation, right now zero, you can increase the exposure or decrease the exposure, motion detection, right now it's off, you can turn it on, uh, record audio, on or off, date stamp, so if you want to insert a 
timestamp, date stamp on your video clip, then you turn it on. Gravity sensing is going to be off, low, medium, or high. And go back to resolution. Press M again, it will exit back to the main screen. Now if you hold it for a second, it will go to the still picture mode. Now, in the still picture mode, if you press M, it will have its own setup. So this is the still picture setup menu. You have the capture mode, and you can do a single uh, capture mode or two-second timer, five-second timer, or ten-second timer. Resolution. These are different resolution. Five megapixel, eight, ten, or twelve megapixel. Sequence on or off. Quality. Fine, normal, or economy. Sharpness, strong, normal, or soft. White balance, auto, daylight, cloudy, or tungsten. Color, black and white, or sepia. ISO, auto, or 100, 200, or 400. Exposure, anti-shaking. Quick review, date stamp. We're back to the beginning. Press the M button to exit back to the main screen. I'll hold the M button to go to the playback mode. In the playback mode, if you go up or down, you can scroll to different video clips that's been recorded and press the OK button to play it. So as you can see, it's playing the video clip that was previously recorded. Now, if you press the up and down arrow key, you can actually speed it up. Press the up arrow key to slow down the video clip or go backwards. Press the OK button to pause it. Press the M button and a menu will come up. It will allow you to delete this clip or lock it, protect it, or view it as a slideshow. So let's say if this is a video clip that you want to protect and lock, all you have to do is press the M button, scroll down to protect, and select OK, and lock current. Press M again to exit, and now you have a lock key icon at the top telling you that this video clip is now protected. Or if you want to unprotect it, go back to the protect menu, press the down arrow key to unlock current, select OK, and now it's unlocked. I'm going to press the M button again to go back to the video recording mode. So what if you're driving down a road and five, six car lengths ahead of you, there was an accident. And this dash cam is recording and recorded everything that's been happening. Now, you have the ability to lock that video clip right away. While the dash cam is recording, as you can see, if you press the M button once, there's a lock icon that shows up in the middle of this video clip. What that tells you is that this video clip will now be locked and you cannot unlock it while this is in this lock mode. However, at the end of this three minute video clip, the next video clip will not be locked. So this feature allows you to lock that video clip right away if you see something happening.
And so far I've used this unit for about a week. Uh, with a recent road trip I had, I've placed over probably 900 miles on this device and it's always worked. It turned on with the ignition, it shuts off after ignition is turned off and the video quality as you saw is very good. So I highly recommend uh, this unit uh, as a dash cam and I hope you enjoy watching the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.